From historical monuments like royal palaces, century-old universities, ancient castles, to the new infrastructure like Tower Bridge, London has it all. Due to the countless number of places to visit and things to do in this bustling city, tourists might get confused about where to start their journey. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Stay tuned to find out the top 5 things to do when you visit this beautiful country. Number 5. Ride in the London Eye Any visit to London is incomplete without riding the famous London Eye. Hop onto one of these glass capsules in this giant rotating observation wheel and admire 360 degree views from the height of 135 meters. During the 30 minute ride you can witness some of the capital's most iconic landmarks like Big Ben, Buckingham Palace and the Houses of Parliament. Originally built to celebrate the millennium, the Ferris wheel lights up in some amazing colors at night and is the center place for New Year's annual fireworks. You can either join a group of visitors in the pods or book a private one to have the most memorable experience of your life. Number 4. Stroll in the Hyde Park Hyde Park is undoubtedly London's most popular and biggest park. The park also has historical significance as it was the place for multiple demonstrations and protests, including the famous suffragettes. Hyde Park also features a speaker's corner, which still hosts different debates, speeches, protests, and performance artists every week. Apart from hosting different events and concerts, the park also boasts multiple attractions including two water bodies, the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain, and Serpentine. You can swim weather swim in serpentine or enjoy paddle boating while looking at the beautiful swans. Number 3. Cruise in the Thames Flowing at night in the middle of the city, the Thames has always been the city's lifeline. The river was the center of settlements since prehistoric times and remained strategically important for different empires across the course of history. Now the Thames is the main tourist attraction with several companies offering different cruises across the river. The cruise trip mostly spans over 30 minutes and passes through many sightseeing locations including the House of Parliament, the London Eye and the iconic Tower Bridge. Some cruise tours are specially reserved for the night, where tourists are entertained with the night view when everything lights up in the city creating an awe-inspiring view. Number 2. Visit Museums and Art Galleries Like any other civilized city, London is home to many museums and art galleries attracting millions of tourists each year. Most of the city's art galleries, including the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square, are free to visit. The National Gallery features the work by Da Vinci, Van Gogh, and Rembrandt. There are many museums as well, with each showing different aspects of history and culture. For instance, the Natural History Museum hosts a giant Diplodocus skeleton in the main hall along with many other ancient fossils and stuffed animals. For those interested in cultural history, the Victoria and Alberta Museum is a must-visit place, as it contains artwork on fashion and different living tools from around the world. You can also pay a visit to the British Museum to see Rosetta Stone, mummified remains, and countless archaeological discoveries. Number 1. Shop at the Oxford Street Oxford Street is Europe's busiest street with more than 300 shops and hosting thousands of visitors each day. Initially a residential area, the place changed into a retail hotspot in the early 19th century. It was immensely destroyed after facing heavy bombing in World War II, but was rebuilt to its glory. Located in the West End of London, this place hosts several flagship stores of national and international chains including two Mark & Spencer stores, Marshall & Snellgrove, House of Fraser, and many more. It's not only the city's most visited shopping street, but also home to some music labels. The 100 clubs in the basement of number 100 have been a live music venue since 1942. The place was thought to be safe from the bombing threats due to its underground location and played host to many renowned jazz musicians including Glenn Miller. The music retailer HMV was also opened here in 1921 by Sir Edward Alger. Which one of these activities would you like to do first on your trip to this amazing city? Share with us in the comment section and keep watching for more videos.